Doc, do you trust what those guys said? Not entirely. Not yet. At the very least, though, it's dangerous to stay here. But what about our mission? I understand your concern, but this could be more important. I'm going to suspend the mission for now. There are two major problems as I see it. What do you mean? First, there's the double agent. The enemy knew we were coming. We have to find out who it is and expose the circumstances behind this mess. I agree. And the second one? We have to confirm for ourselves whether what Erica said is true. It's hard to believe she could have fabricated all that. Yes, I think so too. The desertification's progress is very real, and its acceleration matches her claim. Just coincidence, maybe? Or she's using the facts to prop up her story. That's why we need to investigate for ourselves, right? Well, I guess... If we can confirm a connection between the two problems, we'll contact Alistair for a decision. Depending on how things go, the war may become irrelevant, and our mission may be aborted. I think that's a reasonable way to proceed. We're in a very precarious position right now. Rainy, it's fine if you can't trust Erica. Trust me instead. I assure you, I have no intention of giving my life for nothing. The three of us will survive to protect our country. Together. Okay, I get you. Hmm. Looks like they're escorting us somewhere safer. What? <laughs> you sound sure of yourself, but that sword of yours looks pretty worn down. You gonna be okay swinging that thing around? Mm. That's some personality quirk. The Sand Swords of Cygnus, huh? I'll keep that in mind. Okay! safe here. You were right about that. Jeez. Don't mind us. A little paranoia is healthy in our line of work. <sighs> Left and then down a ways, hmm? 
All right. By the way, yeah. um. oh, huh? Oh, what? Is there something on my face? Hmm. I think this place might be okay, Rainy. More than enough. There's something I need to ask you, though. I want to look into the history of this continent. Do you have anything I could see? Oh. That's how it is. Hey, Stock. You think the stuff the princess said checks out? Put it this way. It's worth checking out. It was pretty detailed and elaborate to be a lie. Sure, but... Sorry I kept you waiting. I asked all around the village. What did you find? I talked to the mayor and several others around town, and it's true. There does seem to be a correlation between the ritual and the desertification. So, she spoke the truth. We should do some digging into the Empire's history as well. Something wrong, Rainy? It's nothing. By the way, Stock, have you ever been here before? Not to my knowledge. Why? Some of the villagers said they recognized you. Eh. They must have mistaken you for someone else. Well then, I'm off to find any records of the Empire's history. Good. I'm counting on you. What? The Resistance is scheming my assassination? The Resistance's actions of late have been beyond the pale. Even if it is only Princess Erika play-acting at being a heroine, this cannot be taken lightly. There must be a reprisal, my queen. How dare that whelp? Are the ties of family so fragile? How shall your majesty respond? Set it all ablaze. Pardon? Burn the city to the ground, and let their cinders be mixed in with the rest of the ash. But the other citizens would also be caught in the... I care not! Anyone who harbors Erika or the Resistance deserves to share their fate! It's time the citizens remembered who hold the authority and power in this country! Queen Protea! <sighs> As you wish. Ugh. These orders come directly from Her Majesty. Take heed and listen well. Set fire to the city. Burn everything to the ground, resistance and civilian alike. Those are your orders. Huh? Impossible! Calm yourself. We would never actually burn the civilians. I have an idea. Uh, yes. First, spread a rumor immediately before setting the fire. Tell the people the Resistance started the blaze to lash out at the Queen. Then begin the fire in the least damaging area of the city to stir up confusion. The Resistance will be left with no choice but to make a move. Oh. We will thus obey the letter of Her Majesty's orders, while still taking steps to dispose of the Resistance. 
Well done. Hmm. Were you speaking true? Yes. She's become unhinged. It was all well and good when she was King Victor's commoner pet. You needn't convince me. She's without the merest shred of royal poise. It was cruel fate that made this vulgar, brainless woman our queen. We may have been the ones to raise her to power, but the joke is no longer an amusing one. Don't fret so, Salvo. Our cares will soon see an end. Once she's served our purpose, her exile will be swift and permanent. Hmm. If you'll excuse me, I must go set my own city on fire. I am sorry. Never you mind. Just attend to your own role. Hey, Stock. What are we gonna do? Nothing we've learned here indicates that Erica is lying. I looked into the history of the old empire. Everything seems to fit. So you're thinking of going along with that princess? You just abandoned the mission? I'm not abandoning it. I told you. We're just... putting it off. We can't carry out the objective Heist gave us now, at any rate. We need to examine the facts, weigh the possibility of working with Erika, and... It sounds great when you say it like that. But what you're really saying is that you're going to betray Alistair. Calm down, Rainy. Honestly, I don't believe that the princess is lying either. So you think the world's going to end if we don't play along? Yes. All the research I did points to it. If the world is going to be destroyed, winning the war is meaningless. No one would survive either way. Not our friends in Alistair or their families. But still, how can you betray Alistair like that? I haven't quite made up my mind to cooperate with Erica. She still hasn't answered some important questions. I'll decide what to do after I hear her responses to them. But Rainy, if you think going even that far is betrayal, I won't force you to stay. <gasps> Stock! I don't know yet what's wrong and what's right either. That's why I want to take a closer look at the facts and decide from there. But... but the mission! It's our job to carry out Heiss's orders! We're agents, not researchers! What's to think about? Rainy... Alistel, Heiss, they took us in when we had nowhere to go. I can't betray them. I just can't. Rainy, let me ask you just one thing. What drives you? Repaying Heiss for his kindness? Protecting Alistel? What? It used to be that those two goals overlapped. Not this time. You might have to choose one at the expense of the other. What's most important to you? I've never thought about it. Then start thinking. I haven't yet decided whether or not to cooperate with Erica. But at the very least, she gave us time to think. Time to consider if we're really okay with the way things are. Indeed. Our entire mission, and the war between Alistel and Granork, we've gotten so used to being constantly at war, our focus has narrowed to which side will win and which side will lose. That's how we've been thinking about things up till now. I guess you're right. Is now the time to be at war? Nobody asks questions like that. Nobody ever seriously considers the desertification, our whole reason for being at war. Isn't that a terrible mistake? <sighs> Marco and I will be thinking hard about this before deciding. Rainy, you should do the same. That's what's called for now. All right. I'll think about it. I need to be alone for this, if you don't mind. Sure. We've been partners for a long time, but don't hold back on that account, Raimi. I want to hear your honest opinion. Let us know any time you need to talk.
What's wrong? Hmm. Did something happen in Granorg? These wounds are severe. <laughs> what? <sighs> <sighs> Stay with me! Marco, I'm heading to Gran Orc. This will be dangerous, so you don't have to... What on earth are you talking about, Stock? Of course I'm coming! We came to assassinate Erika, but we're about to rescue her. In doing so, we openly betray Heiss and Alistel. We'll most likely end up as exiles. I've made my peace with that. Now's not the time to be at war. We need to protect Princess Erika and have her perform the ritual. Agreed. Let's make for Granorg.